you guys, it's Jeremy again, and today being May 1st, I wanted to do a new book topic for the month of May of 2012, um, but I've decided to treat you guys again and do another book topic later on in the month, I just don't know when that's going to be. This, this book topic, if you guys know by the title, is writing styles and how just different and complex writing styles can be. Um, I'm going to start off with just a couple of them. Um, if you guys are out there and have heard of Lisa McMahon's Wave Trilogy, you will know that her her um, her trilogy is written in um, third person present perspective. Which, when I heard that in like another book review by somebody else, I was like, I've never even heard of that before. But yeah, here's the cover of Wake, and this is the soft cover edition. There is a hard cover edition that you can get. Um, and I'll just read a quick paragraph so you guys can kind of I can get, get what I'm saying. Claire, Carrie arrives ten minutes later with her sleeping bag. Can I stay over? She asks. Sweetly, we haven't had a sleepover in forever. That is kind of third person present perspective, which I did enjoy, but I have my own personal reasons for not really liking this trilogy as much as other people did. And if you guys want to know my reasons for not really liking it, you can send me a message or just leave a comment below and I will tell you. And then the second kind of third person perspective is sort of in a way, but it's but it is in a way that I love. And it's Harry Potter it's the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. So yay. And while I'm on the subject of Harry Potter, I finally have my own uh, Pottermore account. You guys can find me now. And my username is midnightseer51512, I believe. And if I got the numbers wrong, I will, I will actually put a comment in the below telling you what exactly my username is. So as soon as it's up, I will post that comment for you guys. And this book is like, is really good as well. That's how it's worded. Um, and he went over back over to Ron feeling that the ball was a lot more trouble than it was worth and hoping very much that Petranius Roses was a dead center. I don't know. It was just random page. And um but yeah, that I really do enjoy. And this is the fourth book, which I can't wait to start. And then I've got first person perspective, which I really like. The first book I have Hush Hush. Shiver by Max D. Bodder and this is uh, by Vic Fetchett. Fallen Angel by Heather Terrell, along with the sequel, Eternity. And then those are like first person perspective is like this. That night I couldn't sleep again. Thoughts of Ralph and Michael and the prophecy run a web through my through my mind. That's like first person. And my newest my newest perspective or, or third person narrator that I've really grown to love and I actually cannot stay away from my eyes, can't leave the pages. And that is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. And I was so excited to start this book because I had tried to get into this book about five years ago and I just couldn't get into it for some reason. I was like a freshman in high school. I was 16, so I don't, I don't know why. But that's the, but the, but the important reason is I can get into the series now. And fans of the Mortal Instrument series, City of Lost Souls, the fifth book in the series, will be out on May the 8th. That's in six days. And um, I was like. I'm trying to read them, but I know I'm not going to be able to read the whole series, all the first four books in time. But um, I wanted to at least read the first book of the series, so then I kind of have the rough of the world. And I'm going to get the books and I'm going to read them like as soon as I can. I can't wait to get into them. Can't wait to get them. And I will be getting all of them in hardback since they just look so much prettier and they're so much better than this is the library copy. This is not mine. So, but it was just in my mind and it would not leave me alone. So I decided to read, and as you guys can tell, I haven't been able to put it down since I started it. 
I'll either finish this tomorrow or on Thursday. So I will actually, I, I actually will do a review with this library book. I was actually going to wait till I get my own personal copy of it, but I don't know when that's going to be, and I want all the information to be fresh in my brain. So, but yeah, um, I absolutely love Pepin Declared's writing. I can't wait to get the rest. I can't wait to personally own the first five books of the Mulder Instrument series. Which actually on Amazon, if I put all five books in my cart and they would only be about $69, and that's with tax and shipping, so that's really, really cool. And um, I want to read all the, for all five books of this series before I read the Infernal Directive series. But anyway, well, this is my book haul over, book haul, sorry guys, book topic over. Um, writing style. My favorite writing style is still first person, but after that, it's Cassandra Clare's writing in a heartbeat. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I, I, I really want to know your your um, your thoughts, so please don't be scared to put a comment. Please put a comment. I hope you guys like this this video, and I hope you guys subscribe. And I just want to do a small, quick, quick um, shout out to all my new subscribers. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. And I promise you I will have a book review up very soon, probably in the next day or two. I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you guys keep reading. All right, bye.